Hey everyone, in this video we will look at the if else condition in Power Query. So let's say you've got some data and on the basis of certain values you want to uh, define another column. You can use this. Uh, I've got Power Query, uh, sorry, Power BI desktop open here with me. And I've got, I'm just showing the data in the employee tables. So it's employee number, employee name and department. But that's just an abbreviation and I want the department full name. So uh, let's see how we would do it in using Power Query. So you're on, you're on the home tab, you go to edit queries and click on edit queries. And what it does is it opens the Power Query editor for you. And then you go to the add column and you click on conditional column. So we'll just say department full name. And I will just move this a bit. So I have, so if department uh, equals uh, HR, we say, and then we'll just add another rule. If department equals uh, TG, maybe we will call it, uh, tech group if department equals uh, DA we will call it data analytics where you would probably fit in, fit in geeks like me and uh, you've got PMO which could be PMO and you could say project management office So, and then we'll just hit OK. And all it has done is it's created a new column for us. And uh, you can actually look at the code. So you can see that it's basically got this if condition here as an additional step. So you can double click and sort of add another rule if you wanted to. Uh, and let me just open this again. And you can also add a default condition. So if it is anything else, you can say maybe don't know or not applicable or I don't know something else. But uh, yeah, so this is uh, just how to use the if else uh, condition in Power Query and build an additional column. So I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing. I would like that and also like my videos. Thanks again. Cheers. Bye.